Today we're going to be reading Felisa Makan. I hope you enjoy it. Let's begin. A 12-year-old girl had just moved to North Bay and everyone learned to step out of her way. Her name was Phil Felisa M Felisa, Felicia Macan, a girl of adventure where magic began. Full of excitement and mischief and more, she shook up her school as she entered the door. She had rainbow glitter all over her clothes and heavy eyeglasses that pinched her small nose. The hat that she wore, wore was knitted at tea cozy. It made her head warm and her fecals look rosy. She glowed and sh and she glistened. She sparkled and shone. And just like a lamp, she could turn on. She can turn brightness on. Her shoes was quite pretty. Each had a ruffle that moved back and forth as she, as she danced with a shuffle. The kids in the hall were shocked to react. Was this girl for real or was she an act? Everyone watched, watched at her rush by and race out. What in the world is that girl all about? Some children decided to not turn away and welcome Felisa on that school day. She had a big smile from her che cheeks to her chin, and just like a magnet, she drew people in. Felisa was fun, and Felisa was grand, and soon the school had a palm of her hand. She, she had many pets, as she loved every creature, but one got away and frightened her teacher. Nobody actually know what to do. She arrived with a big caribou boo. At recess, her friends lay in on the grass, pretending to be in a dance exercise class. She did a magic trick that made everyone cheer. Felisa, can you make our work, work disappear? The school fundraiser included in action. Felisa sold treats that secret contraction. She worked very hard and the people and the people could see a wonderful leader who went will go. One morning, she made an important decision to tell her new friends about her low vision. I have, I have vision loss, so my, so my eyes don't see well. I might lose more sight, but it's too soon to tell. My best friend is, my best friend is called magnification. It helps me to read with great complication. This made the children correctly laugh. We thought your best friend was Stanley Graf. Her classmates observed what Felisa did next. Uh, I use my device it charges the text. With my magnification expanding the print, I could read words without having to squint. I want to work well. I want to read. I'm glad that this tool can help me to read. Her friends gave her smart that uplifting chant, You're Felisa McCann, not Felisa McCann. The children remarked on that fine, at that fine day at school, your magnify, 
magnification is totally cool. They saw the fashion on Tank Grab, so they gave it so hard that each bent in half. Then came the news that everyone bleed I'm leaving North Bay. I'll be gone in a week. My family is moving uh, moving again to Toronto. I'll have to pack up and I'm doing that pronto. Her friend was surprised they didn't say much. We're, we'll still okay, stay, stay connected. We'll all keep in touch. No one applauded and no one cheers, and slowly Phyllis out McCann disappeared. Fist bumps and hugs and a lot of high fives were placed 15 of fun dancer exercise. Her laughter was sad, but Phyllis still sat and presented each friend with a tea cozy hat. They watched her jump out and and they watched her dance out and they knew what Felix on McCann was all about. And that is the end of the book. I hope you enjoyed. Bye bye for now.